Why all embryo transfers should only be single blastocyst transfers? In the past, doctors would transfer many embryos back into the uterus because pregnancy rates for IVF were not very good. Our technology was not very good. We were not sure whether the embryo would implant or not. And one way of maximizing pregnancy rates was to put lots of embryos back in the hope that at least one would stick. The downside, of course, is that many would stick and then patients would end up with a multiple pregnancy which has its own sets of complications, which is why all good clinics all over the world are now moving to what are called SETs or single embryo transfers, which means we grow all the embryos to blastocysts, transfer one embryo and freeze the rest. Now, a lot of patients say, oh, but won't that reduce my chances? After all, isn't putting more embryos going to be better for me? The truth is that you pay a price for every decision you make. And if you put too many embryos back, you may end up with a multiple pregnancy, which may give you short-term happiness, but you may end up with going into premature labor and then end up with a baby who remains in the neonatal intensive care unit and then has lifelong problems. So I always tell my patients, have as many babies as you like, but one at a time, because the uterus is designed to have only one baby at a time. The good news is that when you're freezing embryos, you're saving them for the future. You're not wasting them, you're not throwing them away. So that if you transfer one embryo, you can always use that second embryo for your second baby. Or in case the first cycle fails, you can then use your second embryo for your second attempt. Frozen embryos have extremely high success rates because freezing and thawing has 100% survival using the technology of vitrification in a good clinic. So you're not reducing your chances, you're actually increasing them. And that's why I tell patients, don't compare transferring two embryos at one time with transferring one embryo at a time. Compare transferring two embryos at a time with transferring one embryo and then another embryo. And then transferring one at a time using that roadmap actually has a higher cumulative conception rate. And this is why all good clinics all over the world will transfer only a single embryo. Yes, I know there are lots of clinics which aren't very good where the doctor is not very confident about the technology, but still put back three, four, five embryos but that's really not in your best interest. In fact, you should treat that as a red flag when your doctor tells you to put back more embryos. That means he's not confident about the lab and is not confident that the embryos he transfers will implant. Have any questions? Feel free to reach out to me. I'm Dr. Malpani. Our website is www.drmalpani.com and I'm happy to offer you a free second opinion.